What's up, YouTube? This is Bias and X79. All right, guys. Today I'm coming to you with my latest deck profile for August 2019. And guys, I got a hot one today. Today, right out of Rising Front Page, I'm doing my Submorg deck profile. Oh, guys, if you really like the Tribute Summon mechanic, this deck is definitely for you, and you need to try it out. It has a lot of awesome effects that can really turn around and help the deck really get going. And not only that, but has a lot of tech options to turn around and hold your opponent down. Big, big stacks that can turn around and pile on your opponent. And more importantly, this deck is so fun to play. Alright? Yeah, it's definitely not going to be a high level tier um, deck. But still, we're in the middle of the off season. Rogue decks kind of reign supreme during this time. So, why not give this a try? I can tell you this right now. It's really worth the time. All right, let's get into this. We got two copies of some more Bird of Beginning. All right, now Bird of Beginning is one of the new smaller Samorgs, and all the smaller Samorgs actually have a similar effect. While they're in your graveyard and your opponent doesn't control any spells and traps that are in their spell and trap zones, mm -hmm. you can special summon this guy out to the field. Oh, actually, any of the smaller birds out to the field in defense position. All right, downside is they banish themselves when they leave the field and you're locked into. Special summoning only wing beasts, but this deck doesn't really have special summon all that much, so we have to don't worry about the later effects. Alright. Also, when this guy is normal summon, you get to a, another normal summon of a Samorg monster during that turn, which is actually pretty damn cool. Extra summons and a tribute summon deck always, always, always works well. Alright. Three copies of Samorg Bird of Bringing. Alright, now Bird of Bringing is the Stratos of the Samorg deck. Normal summon this guy out, and you're searching your deck for a Samorg spell, trap, or monster card to add to your hand. Typically, you want to turn around and see this guy in your opening hand, so you can search out your other pieces that you need to go off. Alright? Definitely one of the opening cards you want to see. Alright? I also run two copies of Samorg Bird of Calamity. Bird of Calamity is actually pretty damn good, because it's like a foolish burial for your deck, allowing you to send a Wing Beast monster from your deck to your graveyard. Easy peasy. Setting up your grave can set up your plays. Alright. On to the big birds. We got three copies of Samorg of Darkness. Now, Samorg of Darkness is actually pretty damn awesome. Okay. If you tribute summon a Wind or Dark Attribute Wing Beast monster, you can special summon this guy from your graveyard or your hand, which makes Calamity all that much more important. Because it helps thin out your deck by getting him into the graveyard. So all you gotta do is tribute summon on another guy, he comes out. And the other cool thing about it is you can tribute off another wind attribute wing beast monster from your field. Guess what, guys? You're negating the activation of a spell or trap. And that is actually pretty damn huge. Alright? Built in negation helps you control what your opponent does. And having a 2900 attack point body, pretty damn awesome. Okay? One, two copies of Samorg Lord of the Storm. All right, this guy cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects, which is actually pretty damn awesome. All right. Also, you can turn around, tribute another Wing Beast monster you control, and bounce one a card off the field, which is actually all right. And if this guy is in your graveyard and one of your other Samorg monsters is destroyed by battle or card effect, guess what? This guy is going to add it back to your hand. Actually, a pretty nice. Recursion again, your big monster icon on the field, and you can turn on tribute it off, tribute summon it again to get more dark Samorg onto the field. All right, the last Samorg monster I'm running in my deck is Dark Samorg. All right, not to get confused with Samorg of Darkness, Dark Samorg actually prevents your opponent from setting any card on the field, whether it be monsters, theirs, or your own spells or traps. Pretty damn awesome. And considering that this guy prevents your opponent from setting anything, makes it kind of hard. For your opponent to really stop you from summoning your Samorgs back to the field. So that's why this guy is so, so important to actually having this deck. Now if you want to feel you want to bring this guy back up to higher level, up to a higher ratio, you can. I feel one is all that you really need. Alright. For consistency purposes and for an extra beat stick, two copies of Danger than the Bird. I mean, we all know the dangers of walking upstart, so whenever you summon this guy, you draw a card. And if this guy is ever discarded from your hand to the graveyard, you're targeting a set card your opponent controls and popping it, which just helps the overall mini Samorgs get back onto the field. 
last but not least for the big birds, one copy of me. Mist Valley Apex Avian. All right, this car can return itself or another winged beast monster, or actually, no, it can return itself back to, back to your to your hand and you get the activation of a monster spell trap, which is just huge. More negates, controls more of what your opponent does. And the last monster that you're going to be running on this deck, three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Pretty standard in a lot of decks right now. Most decks search like crazy. All right, going on to the spells. Three copies of Elbor's The Secret Lands of the Samorg. Alright, powers up all of your Wind and Dripping Monsters by, two, by 300 points, which is actually pretty... And it's a modest boost, but still, 2,900 attack point bodies of the two new Samorgs going up to 3,200. Pretty nasty. Alright, and this thing also has two other effects that you can activate once per during your turn. Both effects once per during the turn, all right? For one thing, you can reveal a high level Samorg, a level five or higher Samorg monster from your hand, and then all Samorg monsters in your hand you can, be sub, can be tribute summoned with one less tribute for the rest of the turn, which is actually pretty cool. And the second effect, oh, it allows you to get another normal summon during your turn, which is actually pretty damn huge. All right, so this is another one of those cards you want to see in your opening hand, all right? Foolish Barrier to go along with Calamity because you want stuff in the graveyard to get onto the field for free. Monster Reborn. I can tell you right now, I've seen a lot of decks that don't even bother running this, and I kind of question why not. I mean, just having another body on the board and bringing it back to turn around for Tribute Fodder, it doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, this card definitely needs to be in a deck. Alright? Now, this deck doesn't really care all that, all, all that much about the extra deck, so... Three copies of Pot of Extravagance, banish three or six cards, and then from your extra deck face down, and then you draw one card for every three cards you banished. Okay. Another great card right here. Three copies of Samorg Onslaught. Oh my god, discard one Samorg monster from your hand to your graveyard, and then you're able to search your deck for Samorg monsters of two different attributes, which is pretty cool. Opening with this card, again, is another big necessity. So you have three opening cards, Bringings, Onslaught, and Elbors that you need to have in your starting hand. That's why you run three. All right, you have one copy of Samorg Repulsion. Pitch a Samorg Monster from your, from, your grave, from, from your hand to the graveyard, and it's basically a giant true nade. And while this card is in the graveyard, you could banish it to actually reduce the level of one monster in your, in your hand, which is actually pretty cool, and it can actually help you out in the long run all right, one copy of Terraforming. You want to see your field spell as much as possible. Two copies of Twin Twisters because there are back row Debbie he decks out there and you need to be prepared for this in this deck because otherwise you're not going to be getting your, your monsters back on the field. All right. Two copies of Ant Taste Spell Fragrance. Very important for this deck, especially paired with um, Dark Samorg. Can basically lock your opponent out from using spells completely and that's what you want to see. All right, two copies of Harpy's Feather Storm. Great card. Oh my god, can basically shut down your opponent's turn before they even have it. I mean, you could just flip this card during the draw phase. What are you gonna do? No monster effects can be activated. Well, actually, all that monster effects that can be activated is just negated, which is actually pretty damn awesome. It can be activated from your hand if you control a Harpy monster. All right, some more Sky Battle. Pretty awesome card. It basically protects all of your Samorg monsters from being, or actually all of your Wing Beast monsters from being targeted by your, your opponent's card effects and attacks, except for the highest attack ones, which is actually pretty damn good. So your opponents can't go after your little mini guys while this guy's in the field. Not only that, but this card also has a nasty little other effect. You can just send this card from the from the field to the graveyard, and then you return, and you can turn around and return one Samorg of. of Two different attributes, which is or once uh, two some orcs of two different attributes, excuse me, back to your hand, and then basically all monsters on the field get returned back to the hand, and then both players get hit with damage equal to the number of monsters returned. Great little interesting way of getting some extra burn damage just to burn for game if you don't manage to swing for it. All right, and last but not least, you have one copy of Solemn Warning, just to negate a, a summon, which is actually pretty handy in this deck. 
All right, for the extra deck, like I said, this deck doesn't really care that much, but we just do have some pretty good cards. I don't like having useless cards in my extra deck. So, three copies of Harpy Conductor. Very useful with Harpy Featherstorm, can be activated from your hand then. All right. And it actually gets power boosted up to 2200, which is actually pretty nice. All right. Two copies of High Speed Roid Rubber Band Shooter. I mean, this guy's actually pretty damn cool. Two win the Troop Monsters, get him on the field, and you get an extra normal summon. Alright, I also running the... Ah! Uh, I don't even want to attempt this. This is the do this is the Desperate Doom Eagle. This is the, one of the new exclusive Link Monsters from Rising Rampage. Um, 2400 attack point beats. It is a Wing of Beast Monster, so it can go up to 27. Not bad if your opponent doesn't have any monsters in the graveyard, it goes up the. F it, it gets doubled attack, so pretty damn cool. Alright, Lampharynchus. It's a generic link. Alright. The Nightmare Packet, Cerberus, Phoenix, Unicorn. Deals with special summon monsters, deals with back row, spins a monster off the board. Pretty standard. I mean, I, fi I actually do find the Nightmare is very useful in this deck. Triple Burst Dragon, Negates. Alright, I run the Boral Brothers in there, Boral Sword, OTK, Boral Load, I'll break up boards. I'm actually running Darkness Dragon because this deck does run a lot of Wing Attribute Wing Beast Monsters, which makes it capable of bringing this card out. And then getting cards back from the Banished Zone onto the field, or from the Graver back onto the field, which is actually just huge. And last but not least, I am running one copy of Sarusha Gold Red. I'm not using it for its four name effect. I'm actually using it for its three million effect to get that extra special summon from your hand. Just makes it worth it. One extra body on the field. And some free power boosts. Also pretty good. Alright, guys. So that is it for my some more deck profile for August 2019 guys as always if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this on my channel make sure to subscribe and enable notifications including YouTube my notifications so you don't miss a single upload guys check out the description box below find the invite link to my discord server join the conversation we would love to have you and also follow me on Twitter at bystanx79 all right guys until next time as always peace